Nuclear tech mod updates just keep on getting better and better. So today I'm gonna focus on the PureX machine which is a new machine added in order to reprocess the spent nuclear fuel. So now no longer can you do these recipes in a centrifuge, you will need to use the PureX machine like the Silex we had before. Also there's one little way of making reinforced concretes, the RBMK autoloader and some other fun stuff. So timestamps in the description and without any further ado, let's get straight into this. Starting off with a fun little way of making a cobblestone generator. So in a chemical plant, 25 millibuckets of lava can be combined with 1000 millibuckets of water to give one cobblestone. Now in a liquefactor, a single piece of cobblestone will give 250 millibuckets of lava. That's basically a single liquefactor can sustain 10 of these machines, the 10 chemical plant. And if you basically use one of these to just supply cobblestone, the remaining cobblestone can just be deposited. And yeah, that's your cobblestone farm right there. Simple and easy. You can balance this your own way. Next up, we come to the PureX, which is a new machine for reprocessing of the nuclear fuel. Looks something like this, has uh, input output slots on all four sides. And the recipes include the uh, Xenox fuels, pressurized water reactors, the plate fuel, watts pellet. But sadly no RBMK fuel. So RBMK still requires the Silex in order to process which is sad cause we had a ton of RBMK reactors in this world. All of them with depleted fuel but well it is what it is. The pressurized water reactor got taken out by this meteor. So let's start with the Xenox fuel. Uh, Sherbidium Xenox fuel which will be cooled down to give us the depleted Sherbidium Shib fuel. Now if I set the recipe here then uh, you can see the input outputs that it's gonna take. So for example, it's going to require depleted sherbidium fuel with kerosene and nitric acid and this will give us beryllium along with plutonium and some nuclear waste. Now in the chemical plant, if I come to nitric acid, then you can see that no longer can we make it from the air because this is now a blueprint. So if I place the blueprint in the chemical plant, only then can I access the recipe of nitric acid from air, otherwise I can't. This is how the recipes which are exclusive for blueprints are used. You need to have the blueprint constantly placed in the machine in order to use them. So with the pipes connected that's nitric acid and the second input is going to be kerosene. And once we fill these two, so that's our one third or two third of the automation done. And the last thing we require is placing the depleted sherbidium fuel. And with that the process begins like this, uh, it works at a pretty decent speed and gives us the beryllium, plutonium and nuclear waste along with it. So it can take the speed upgrade, power saving upgrade, I haven't really tried the overdrive upgrade yet. Now one cool thing about this whole process is that the recipes are shared. So for example, here you can see that the part of auto switch group and which means that if I place any other Xenox fuel, then the recipe will change automatically. And if I get these outputs uh, out of the way, then it will start processing the uranium recipe. So you can switch the fuel around it doesn't really matter, you won't really have to change the recipe. And as long as it is Xernox fuel, then it will basically keep on accepting the input of Xernox fuel. And it will keep on changing the recipes automatically, which is pretty awesome. So automation with this, the input output is pretty easy. There are no barriers to which slot is used for which. And also there is this frame, which can be triggered by covering the middle block with something. Next up, the RBMK autoloader can be set up to basically remove fuel when it is above a set depletion level. So you can get this in increments of 5%. And let's come to this RBMK reactor here. Now here, my fuel is over 70% depleted. So if I place an RBMK autoloader and set it to 70%, and in the left hand side, I will place down a proper fuel. Now it will play a 20 second animation. So this by far has been one of the best additions for this update, the auto loader. It's pretty awesome and it can be automated further. Finally coming to rebar and the rebar placer. Now the rebar is made with steel bolts and steel bolts are made with steel ingots. So it's a steel heavy recipe in general. And the rebar can be placed like this and you need to fill it with liquid concrete in order to make it into reinforced concrete. So Filling up with liquid concrete works from the by placing pipes on the top and that gives us the reinforced concrete. 
and it works similarly when you place the rebar blocks touching each other like this so they will be shared and yeah all of them will be converted into reinforced concrete blocks like this you can also turn them into pillars however filling up a big area with this is going to be a pain that is where the rebar placer comes in now this requires rebar in your inventory even in creative which is kind of a pain but yeah it is what it is with the rebar placer you can place down multiple rebar blocks like this it will take them from your inventory and then fill them up like this now one cool thing is that shift right clicking the rebar placer will allow you to set what kind of concrete you want so for example i am going to set it to concrete tile let's say and with the concrete tile in place uh, now any size i set it to and then when i fill it with concrete then this will be set to concrete tile let's give it some time and there we go so concrete tiles right there if you use a recipe which is incompatible like for example the ducrete tile it won't really work but black concrete and any other colored concrete it will work pretty easily so let's make a border for this entire area right here for a cool thumbnail so that's done and filling it up with concrete will give us a nice border and also every single piece of reba takes up one bucket of liquid concrete so that is all i had for this video i hope you enjoyed it you learned something from it if you did please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this i will see you guys in the next one until then peace out and stay safe my guys